welcome my friends to the final round of manufacturers cup at catalonia in the ferrari group three this time and we're starting fourth and the goal after i qualified fourth which i was pretty happy with was to pip conzio straight away i knew i had a harder accelerating car than him and fast on a straight line and if I could get him early, then I'd put a bit of a buffer between me and B-Spec. I have another aggressive look up the inside. I do give him a bit of a tap here. He does get sideways a bit. And so then I thought, no, nah, that's pushing my luck a bit much. I didn't want to attack him into turn four, so I let him have this corner. I thought, okay, I've missed my opportunity. I'm not going to push him out the way to claim a position. I'm just going to wait for a better opportunity later. I just had to watch B-Spec, I knew he was very quick, I had done a race or two with him the previous night so I knew he had, he had very good race pace, so I was, that's why I was trying to get Conzio as soon as possible, put a bit of a buffer between me and B-Spec and the Corvette, I did not expect to qualify so high up the grid, the car is good around here but a little bit less practice than I normally do and I didn't feel I had the actual race raw race pace to compete with the fourth place that I claimed in qualifying. So after the initial aggressive start, you know, I stepped back a bit, cooled off. And I thought, okay, maybe I can get Conzio down the main straight in the draft. I know I have a faster car than him. I do have a serious issue in the last sector of this track, namely the left right chicane right here. I am very slow through this. I don't know if it's me or the car, I'm gonna blame the car because it's always easier to do. So the car is very slow through that last again, and it gives the car ahead of me a bit of breathing room, so by the time I get back up to speed, I've really lost the opportunity to overtake in the draft. At this stage, Conzio and the Hyundai still had a little bit of the draft from second place, but he was falling back. There was a bit of a gap opening up, as you can see. So I thought, you know, another lap or so, He's not going to have the drive. He's not going to be able to defend against me. I should be able to have third place. So lap four. We're just running on board with B-Spec Bob. At the end of lap three, he was catching me. I couldn't make my move on Conzio. And so he was catching me pretty fast, but he couldn't pull past me because I had a bit better straight line speed and I was sitting in Conzio's draft as well. So B-Spec decided to pit on lap three to try to undercut me, I assume. And he makes a really nice opportunistic move on GTR Freak in that one. GTR being, I guess, got a little bit sideways into that corner. Frithy bumped him a little bit, which compromised his turn in. And B-Spec saw that and took advantage. He did pick up a half second penalty going into the pits, which he pays for there. GDR Freak gets back ahead of him. But I guess now, lap four, the tyres are getting a little bit old. This was a tyre limited race, and really the one stop was the faster way to go. GDR understeers through this long right hander. B Spec sees the gap open up and picks it beautifully, it has to be said. So, a really impressive lap from B Spec. But unfortunately for him, the fighting in this, this couple of cars has really cost him against me, where he was only a couple of tenths behind me heading into the pits. He ends up about two seconds or so behind me now, so it's cost him two seconds pitting early, just trying to get the undercut done. He unfortunately comes out into traffic, can't do much about it, and you see myself, I'm pitting on lap four to go five laps into the end, and I come out with a bit more of a breathing room. So I was pretty happy with that, pretty happy to see B-Spec stuck behind Frithy at this stage on fresher tyres but I knew he'd obviously tried the undercut, hadn't worked and actually cost him time in the long run. Myself, I still couldn't get past Conzio through lap 4. I was pushing pretty hard on the exit of some corners so I had started to burn the rear tyres. I decided to pit you know, lap 4 and just look after the tyres a bit more and do a 5 lap stint at the end with lighter fuel so I figured that would be a bit better on my tyres for the end and see how it all plays out and see if I can move up from where I was stuck in fourth place. So a couple of laps on and I'm catching up to the leading pack. It involved Conzio at the head of the field. 
followed by Adam, Makozi, Kinemos, and Double H. Only Makozi Head had pitted, and Holland, who was second place, he pitted but fell behind me, was obviously a bit slow on his inlap. So now it was getting crunch time, and I had to really get in the draft of somebody up here. Double H puts it into a lovely pirouette on the exit of the second last corner. So I didn't unfortunately have his draft to defend against Holland. And you see Holland closing in on me slowly in the Lexus behind just sitting in my draft. But he does dive me going into this corner. I halfway expected it. I start to turn and I see him go for it. So I give him just enough room. He bumps me wide. I know my car's unstable over the curb, so I had to sort of ease off through the left hander just where he had put me with his bump. And I let him go. I knew he was a faster car. I knew he was he had one lap fresher tires. So it wasn't really a fight I was going to put up with for long. I don't think he needed to dive me from that far back. But then again, I halfway expected it. It is Holland. I do know his driving style. And I figured if I let him go, maybe it can cause some chaos and cause some grief to the cars ahead and I could pick up the pieces. So that was the plan at this stage. But I was still closing into the four cars up ahead. Minus Makosi, who's probably going to get past soon enough and be away. So this was my opportunity to pick up third place away from Conzio. And it just so happens to be the very next corner. So Kenemos goes for a bit of a dive, pushes Conzio wide. Kenemos then picks up a three second penalty for pushing Conzio off the track. Holland, I don't, I don't even know how he got that. Maybe he's touched Conzio in the middle of that or I'm not sure. But either way, Holland gets aggressive, pitches Kenemos around, and I was so lucky that Kenemos ghosted at just the right moment. Otherwise, he would have tapped me, and the game may have blamed me for setting him off and given me a five-second penalty. So, as it was, Kenemos goes around. Holland's got a five-second penalty ahead, and now I'm staring at the back of, effectively, Makozi and Adam. Adam, who hasn't pitted in the Ford, and Makozi who has, so I'm not going to chase down Makozi anytime soon. But Adam, I've got a real chance of overtaking. So now all of a sudden I'm staring at potentially a second place if I can keep the car on track and catch the Ford. So the very next corner, Holland with much newer tyres goes aggressive and dives down the inside of Adam into the hairpin, which compromises Adam's line and being on older tyres is starting to struggle anyway. Nine laps on softs around here, or medium tyres as it was, is pretty difficult to do. So I easily close up on the back of Adam, and Holland's about to take his penalty at the next straight. So now it's just a matter of holding a nice line through here. If I can get him here, this would be ideal. Because I can get him down this straight, and I could pull away in the final sector with my better tyres. I figured I'd have better brakes than him, better tyres, more grip going into this corner, so I easily outbreak him into this corner. He doesn't defend the inside. He gave me the, well, kind of left me the space on the inside, so I didn't need a second invitation. I took it, and I figured with my newer tyres I'd be able to pull away, because the Ford is stupid fast in a straight line. So I really needed to use these few corners to pull away, get a good run through here, which this is my worst corner on the track. I mean the car's worst corner on the track, not mine. Get a good drive out. I see Adam tried to get as much of a drive as possible. The car stepped out a little bit, so it compromised his run. And it gave me about a half second, six tenths bit of a lead. And he almost closes it up. Closes it up by the end. I kind of go defensive. He's not catching me fast enough. I take back the usual racing line. Hit my marks on the brakes. He's nowhere near me. And I know I've got better grip under braking. And that is job done. I just need to hold on to the car. Keep it on track for one more lap it will bring home a very tasty second place so that was the race I did bring it home in second overall so I was really really stoked with that result I couldn't believe I put it in fourth on the grid I think a few of the faster drivers didn't quite get good qualifying laps in so I ended up starting fourth I could get Conzo early on he did a good job defending and I struggled to get out of that last chicane, as you're well aware of. So he did a good job holding on up there, but you see most of the drivers up the front tried doing a no-stopper, because you 
like the tire wear was fine like the tires aren't bad but they went off fast enough or the the lap time drop off was high enough and the pit stop time was so short it was only a four or five second stop because you're just changing tires that a one stop was quite beneficial some cars supposedly the the no stop was slightly faster but personally i found the one stop to be better and the ferrari as you're probably aware not so great on its tires especially the last few laps it became very difficult so i just took the opportunity to take a single stop take new tires and just drive it as hard as i could and it was a lot of fun and i got a bit, got a bit lucky i predicted holland going aggressive and he did like he didn't need to make some of these moves turns out he got his five second penalty from hitting Conzio so after Kinemos pushed Conzio off the road a little uh, Holland kind of turned up and hit the back of him and spun him around as Conzio was trying to recover so that's how he, he got the five second penalty I got yeah I got lucky with him trying to sort of barge his way through the field and I picked up the pieces and picked up a nice second place so I was really happy with that I did not show you the top 16 superstars that race did not go to plan at all uh, qualifying was kind of nuts I think two tents separated about 12 cars and I was at the bottom end of the 12 cars I think I started 16th uh, there was a massive first quarter incident which involved just about all the field and my race went from bad to worse after that I'm going to show that in another video because it's quite interesting but I'm not going to do a whole race review because not much happens afterwards and this was a much more interesting race certainly from my perspective there's a lot more racing involved rather than following other cars anyway I hope you did enjoy what you saw it was the final race of the season for manufacturers kind of sad to see it go it's been a lot of fun driving the Ferrari for this season and hopefully going to do it more in future seasons but until then if you like what you see, share the video with your friends and, friends and family, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to see these races live, in the off season I plan to do daily races on Twitch, the link is in the description below, until we get back into I guess the off seasons of the World Championships. But until then, thank you for coming along, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.